So the doubt is always what to use to record your videos as Cinetone or as Log3. You know the difference in between them, but this is something that I found out and I want to show you why I'm choosing either one and when. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Thomas Love here from Lake Como Italia and today we're gonna discuss about just one little aspect that differs from recording with as Cineton and as Log3. Of course I'm talking to the ones of you that are using Sony cameras because as Cineton is proprietary and as Log3 is the very latest log that you can use for your Sony cameras and so which one you prefer to use of course it really depends how your workflow will be impacted with as Cineton. They made a great job of having almost the same result as shooting in log but with the color profile applied already and already baked in your camera with a color profile that is quite pleasing I have to say. We normally complained about the skin tone from Sony cameras but with the latest iterations and as Cineton is one of them it is quite pleasing so there's nothing to be ashamed of if you don't want to color grade your b-roll in your video recording while if you want to use log of course there are a few potentialities there are a few pluses that here apply because you will have an extended dynamic range with log log has been defined and developed just to use a better dynamic range but then you will have to grade it and so there is just one little aspect that I want to discuss today with you because that might differ that might have a completely different end result for you as well so be ready to think about what you are doing when you're choosing the color profile and if you have or not enough light for your recording so what we are discussing today is the low light conditions because you know we have dual ISO either for S Cineton and S Log3 but these values differ quite a lot because with S Cineton you will have 125 ISO as a base ISO and the dual the second one is 500 so four times the original ISO value and then if you want to have cleaner recording in low light then what I do normally instead of pumping up the ISO or using the exposure comp, normally I switch to S-Log3. Why is that? Because S-Log3 has a base ISO of 800 and so the dual, the second one is 3200 ISO, which helps quite a lot in low light situations. So you will not introduce any grain, any noise in your videos when recording a 32 ISO because it's the dual base ISO for S log 3. So already the starting point is better because you have much more light baked in without introducing noise. But let's see a few examples together. Now the exercise here is just to show you the real difference in the starting point because I didn't do any color grading here. I just want to show you how much luminance you're having when you're shifting the base ISO and how much the base, the base ISO in S-Log3 are helping you here with 125 as Cineton and then the second dual base is as Cineton 500 ISO which is still underexposed. So here I don't want to introduce any grain. I don't want to do any color correction. I'm just having the S Cineton here as is and then here now I'm shifting into S Log3. I'm using the base 800 ISO. I only applied the Rec. 709 LUT so I didn't do any color grading, any modification just for you to see the starting point we're having right now with 3200 ISO how much it helps you when you're shooting in low light conditions having a starting point which is brighter and with no noise. So with that I hope you got some value out of this video if you did please remember to like it share it on your social media subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any videos to come and I guess I will see you later thank you bye bye